Welcome to the Joy of Music. Featuring the First Lady of the Organ, Diane Bish. We invite you to meet great composers and performers. Travel to Europe's ancient monasteries and snow-covered Alps. Visit great historical cathedrals and beautiful lakes and gardens. Praise ye the Lord. Praise him with stringed instruments and organs. Praise him with a psaltery and harp. Praise him with a trumpet. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. And now, Miss Diane Bish. We want to welcome you today to the joy of music as we bring to you a very unusual program entitled, How Beautiful Are the Feet. In the Bible, we read this, How beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace, that bring glad tidings of good things. In music, there are many ways to communicate. There are singers, instrumentalists, composers, and conductors, but the organist plays with both hands and feet. And so today on the program, we're going to feature the pedals of the organ and making music with the feet. But let's start the program with a rousing rendition of the Star Spangled Banner with a pedal solo right in the middle. Johann Sebastian Bach, who was born in 1685, was the greatest composer for the organ and probably the greatest organist who ever lived. Bach wrote many compositions for the pedal and for the hands, and he always made sure that the feet had as much to do as the hands. And so we listen now to one of his most famous and fun compositions. It is called the Jig Fugue. It is a lively dance, and the hands first take the melody, and then the pedals repeat at the same time.
In the organs of Box Day, the pedal boards were flat, but in today's new modern organs, they are contour with 32 pedals. And so one is able to play arpeggios, scales, and even chords with perhaps up to three or four notes with one foot. Also, many people have thought that the pedals play only low notes, but it is possible to couple down the keyboards to the pedal so that one may play very high pitches or very soft ones. In the composition we will hear now, we will hear all of these different variations that one may play on the pedals. This is a very unusual piece because it is actually variations for the pedal alone. The name is Variations on a Theme by Paganini.
The title of today's program is How Beautiful Are the Feet? And we are featuring the pedals of the organ and making music actually with feet, which no other instrument calls for. We now play a great hymn of faith, an arrangement which begins by featuring the pedal as the solo melody line. This certainly is a hymn that brings the gospel of peace and good tidings to the world. Jesus shall reign where'er the sun does his successive journeys run. His kingdom spread from shore to shore till moon shall wax and wane no more.
In learning to play the pedals of an organ, one must practice and exercise just as if one is learning to play the keyboard for the first time. Of the pieces that you have heard on the program today, many of these serve as great exercises and practice for learning the pedals. And the great difficulty in playing the organ is to learn to play the pedals in the hands together. One of our very fine contemporary composers, John Weaver, has written a real exercise for the pedal in a beautiful piece of music called Toccata. In this piece, he again gives the melody to the hands and then adds the feet. And both hands and feet are going about as fast as possible to play. And certainly, to play this piece is a real feat. How beautiful are the feet of those that preach the gospel of peace, those that bring glad tidings of good things. Today on The Joy of Music, we have featured the music of the feet or the pedals of the organ. And through that music, we have tried to communicate glad tidings of peace. We pray that you have been enriched and blessed by the music today. And we look forward to seeing you again next week on The Joy of Music.
thank you for joining us today on The Joy of Music with the First Lady of the Organ, Diane Bish. Join us again next week at this same time. Until then, may the joy of His love be with you.